What's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And first and foremost, if you want to join, go ahead. There's the link there. You can type that into your browser or check the description of this video for it. That way, you get your acing ASVAB on. So, with that said, let's get to it here. What we're looking at right now is we're looking at dividing two mixed numbers. Hmm, that's gonna be pretty tough, right? Not really. Remember, everything in math, you can break it down into small, simple steps. So when we're looking at this, first and foremost, okay, I see that we have mixed numbers. I see that we're dividing. And so, okay, we need, we need to know the rules for dividing fractions, but also you need to know that with mixed numbers, you can't divide it like that, not by hand at least. You're gonna have to convert those mixed numbers into improper fractions and then perform the rules for dividing fractions, which is keep, change, flip. So like KFC, except it's a little more dietary, KCF, keep, change, flip. And so there it is. There's our plan. Turn those mixed numbers into improper fractions, then perform the rule for dividing fractions, and then simplify wherever you can. Follow that plan and you're gonna be nice, calm, cool, and collected, and you're gonna get the right answer. So let's go. So first and foremost, like we said, let's go ahead and convert these into mixed, no, or into improper fractions. So with that over here, three and three over 14, how do we do that? Well, remember, what you're gonna do is you take the whole number and you multiply it by the denominator. Three times 14, that's gonna give you 42. Then you add it back, so whatever you get, you add it back to the numerator. So 42 plus three, that's gonna give us 45 over 14. So remember, the denominator stays the same. All you're doing is you're saying, hey, look, every whole number is 14. So we have three of those 14s, and that's why we multiply, and then we put it back up there with the three that's already there to get 45. As always, my Mazvab party people, thank you for watching this video. Before we continue, just wanted to remind you that if you're struggling with the ASVAB, if you struggle with test anxiety, blanking out on problems, then you need to consider the ASVAB All Access program. Thousands of my students have tried it out and they have always raised their scores if they use it the right way because there's always a way to learn for whatever method you like best. From recorded lessons, to live classes, to guided practice videos, to printable worksheets, to speed drills to help you test and raise your confidence and speed, to casual practice that comes with video solutions. Every single way that you can think of, over 10,000 questions, all of it lined up for you, ready for you to get started right now. So at the very least, check out the link in the description so you can see exactly how it works and why again, over a thousand of my students have raised their scores with it all the way through. I'm proud of you, let's keep working hard and let's get back to the video. But don't forget, check out that program. I think you'll like it. So coming back now, same thing over here, four and six over 21. What you may notice in the beginning is that you can actually simplify six over 21. And if you notice that early on instead of at the end, you will be saving time. So note this down. When it comes to multiplying and dividing fractions, simplify before you multiply or divide. It always makes life a little easier. So keep that in mind. So with that said, six over 21, what can we simplify that to? Well, we know that six and 21 are both divisible by three. And so we can simplify that right away, divide by three, divide by three, and what you'll get is you'll get two over seven for that. So essentially what we have right now is four and two over seven. So just this right there, that's the only thing that changed. That's all I did, just simplify really quick. And now let's go ahead and convert this into that improper fraction. So we have four of those sevens, that's 28. Four times seven is 28. Then add back the two, you get 30. So we have 30 over seven. Now, we are still dividing these fractions, so don't forget that. Remember, first step was convert to improper. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually perform division, which remember, it's gonna look like this. K, so keep, then change to multiplication, and then flip. 7 over 30, just like that. Boom. And so now that we're here, and obviously we see that some of this text is in the way, so let me move that over there. Just got to make sure that that's very visible for y'all. So again, we're doing a class on this tonight for free. Come on and join. So we're looking at this now. Oh, it's actually right there. And so we're looking at 45 over 14 multiplied by 7 over 30. Now, how can 
we do this much easier before we actually you know, complete this. So the common way is gonna be, hey, 45 times seven, then 14 times that 30, and then you simplify at the end. But here's the thing, simplify before you multiply. It's gonna give you such an easier time. Watch this. When I look at this and you're asking, well, what do you mean? Seven and 30 can't simplify, 45 and 14 can't simplify. But remember this, remember this, two times three is the same thing as three times two. What am I trying to get at here? What I'm trying to get at is that, remember when you multiply fractions, you're multiplying straight across. So you're doing 45 times seven, or you can do seven times 45. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And so if you, if you rearrange it like that, guess what? Now you can go ahead and notice that, hey, seven and 14, that simplifies really nice. And 45 over 30, same thing. Those both simplify very, very well. And that can give you a much easier time than multiplying huge numbers together. So with that, watch this, my party people. Let's go ahead and get our math on. So I'm gonna zoom on in a little bit here. So we're gonna have seven over 14. What is that gonna simplify to? Remember that they're both divisible by seven. They're both divisible by seven, giving us seven divided by seven is one. 14 divided by seven is two. And that's true because seven is half of 14. So that's really nice right there, super easy. Then we're multiplying that with what? Huh. 45 divided by 30? Nah, we can simplify that because 15 goes into both. Guess what, right over here, I can divide 45 by 15 and 30 by 15. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom and vice versa. And so 45 divided by 15, that is three. 30 divided by 15, that is two. And we have three over two. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. And so now we can actually multiply. Oh, that's so hard, right? That's super hard. That's really hard. One times three, I don't know, let's find out. One times three, that's three. Two times two, that's four. And there's our answer. Three over four, right there, pop. And there we are. And so look, my party people, at the end of the day, what is this all about? This is all about understanding how to complete these problems, not just in the quickest way possible, but also in the most confident way possible, because you can't be quick without being confident. If you're quick without confidence, eh, it's kind of guesswork. And so again, everybody, if you watch to the end of this video, all I ask is that you kindly like this video, comment your favorite part if you learned something, and then subscribe to the channel so we can keep supporting y'all with you supporting us. But at the end of the day, anything that I can do to help you ace the ASVAB, that's what I'm about. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.